Welcome back to my channel. This is Martin and you're watching Astro from Home. Today we are taking a brief look at the progress on the testing status and also the updates that TubeTech did on the Astro station. And all of you may remember this overview where I had the pros and cons of the Astro station quite some time ago. And today we are looking at the right hand side if any changes has been made. And um, yeah, we will see where, where TubeTech is at the moment and to make an estimate how long it may still take. So then let's just dive in. So the multi-star guiding is done. It works. It's working fine. No difference to any other device that um, that we can use for for controlling our gear so it's similar to to the rcr or nina with phd2 also the the guiding rms has been improved by this so i'm happy next um framing assistant um yeah, um, at that time when I created this overview, I separated the Sky Atlas from the Framing Assistant because I think they are two individual functionalities that we need to look at. And um, the Framing Assistant um, to co uh, control the camera rotation is now included. I've shown it in one of my recent videos, so I'm I'm glad TubeTech listened and introduced it. Then um, the screen stretch of the latest photo taken, um, it's also heavily improved, so this is working well, that there should be no more complaint. As um, whenever you you have your session running, you can see in the in the main screen the most recent image that uh, was taken, and it's well stretched. And if it's too dark or too bright, you can still manipulate this using the histogram that is offered in in that view. So so this is another point that we can remove from the list then um, yeah, quite a couple of minor bugs have been have been fixed over the the recent months so this is progressing I would call it done as all the all the small things that I had in the beginning that I couldn't start couldn't stop that it just hung up or so this is all done so um also well done i would say then next um the visual effects um they have been enhanced slightly it's still quite technical in in some areas but it's not to compare anymore um what it was in the beginning and now we have this beautiful focusing curve and things like this um, when we are running an autofocus and yeah, also on the guiding we see the movements um, of the mount and things like this so this improved a lot and maybe TubeDeck will do a bit more here then um, yeah I mentioned a couple of months back that we don't have a, a station mode uh, at that point of time that we can connect to our home Wi-Fi. It looks like this has been fixed in today's update. I only installed the package for the core application, but I didn't receive the latest app yet. And and to be able to test this one, I I need to have the the most recent app version. But as said, I didn't receive it yet. Um, uh, maybe in the course of next uh, next week that I will get something. 
Denn um, the Sky Atlas is still due, but uh, from my contact, I know it's in an advanced state that it will soon go into internal testing and then I should also get the functionality for my device that I can test this as well. So um, I'm crossing fingers that this might still be the case now in December, but with the year-end period, it could be that that um, TubeDeck might not manage this still this year. But um, yeah, I'm confident that maybe in the next four to five weeks, we sh at least I should see the final version of the Sky Atlas to test it. And um, yeah, from what I know, the Sky Atlas is one of the the last bits and pieces that that they want to complete prior to to releasing the Astro Station. So so um, I'm pretty confident that soon all of you might get their hands on on the device and um yeah the the user interface uh, user experience i already covered but um i've seen something else just today because i received an email from from their web shop and i also wanted to share the information with you as many uh astrophotographers might wait for what they just released these days so saying today and this is here um the brand new imx 585 mono camera i was also looking into this one but i decided different as the 585 chip is pretty popular and um and um, until now there was just the the color version but as of today everybody can order also the mono version and um yeah what is quite nice you could also select the black housing and from from the specs the camera is absolutely the same like the color version in terms of the sensor the sensor size, the resolution, yeah, everything the same. So um, maybe it's something for one of you. I'm not paid or I didn't get anything to, to mention this new camera to you. I have just seen it and I, I thought it might be of interest for any one of you. As, as it was also interesting for me I, th I think the the free gift the old 1200 kfp if you get it or not um uh yeah i think this is is nothing that would make it a deal for anyone as the the sensor technology on this guiding cam is quite old i also have one of them and yeah it's just sitting somewhere in the box and waiting f uh, to be used um, again but with modern guiding cameras i think this is not comparable so i would just disregard um receiving this free free gift so that the main message is here definitely the 585 mono so for anyone who might be interested and um, it's now available um, other manufacturers also announced it so I think player one already announced the 585 mono camera but this is still not available and I'm pretty sure CWO is also working on on an own 585 mono so that that it slowly starts that also in this area there is a bit of progress 
Then I'm um, showing again the overview, what has been done in terms of software with the Astro Station I'm closing here. And as usual, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.